My name is Jeff Rothstein. I'm a professor of neurology and neuroscience at Johns Hopkins University. So I'm both a neurologist and a neuroscientist, and on the neurology side of my life, I study and um, work clinically on ALS, uh, which is a neuromuscular disease, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. On the laboratory side, I try to understand why uh, ALS occurs uh, in terms of the pathophysiology. Why do motor neurons die? Why do cells uh, um, not work properly, including cells like astrocytes? And then at the very fundamental side, I work on synaptic biology of astrocytes and glutamate transporters. So motor neuron disease is a very general term for a class of diseases that affect both upper or lower motor neurons. Uh, in the United States, we often refer to this as ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. But ALS is only one of a number of different motor neuron diseases. So if, as an example, if the disease only affects upper motor neurons, the cells in the cortex, the brain, then it's referred to as primary lateral sclerosis. And when the disease only affects lower motor neurons, those cells only in the spinal cord, it's con considered spinal muscular atrophy. These are all much uh, more rare subtypes where the most common disease is ALS, which is, a again, a disease of upper and lower motor neurons. At the pathological level, it's the diseases I, I think I mentioned. Um, the upper motor neuron pool, those in the motor strip, the motor cortex, those motor neurons in the brain stem, uh, the, what we refer to clinically as the bulbar motor neurons, and those motor neurons that lie within the uh, ventral spinal cord, the uh, lower motor neurons. In this disease, there's a progressive degeneration, uh, classically thought of, of only...